Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to the part 7 of the ASP.NET Core Razor Page web app tutorial and this tutorial is a part of a series of ASP.NET Core tutorials which were written by uh, the Microsoft ASP.NET Core team with a number of collaborators uh, lead, led by um, Rick Anderson and uh, if you like this tutorial please put your likes on the YouTube and subscribe to it. Now in this section we use entity framework code first migration to add a new field to the model and migrate that change to the database. When using entity framework code first to automatically create a database code first adds a table to the database to track whether the schema of the database is in sync with the model classes it was generated from. If the model classes aren't in sync with the DB, EF throws an exception. Automatic verification of schema or model in sync makes it easier to find inconsistent database or code issues. So we'll start with adding a rating property to the movie model. So to the movie model, I will add a rating property. below the decimal price and I will build the app and then go to the index.cshtml file and add a rating field there similar to the all the existing fields save it I'll have to add the rating field to the details and delete page as well so delete.cshtml repeating the same steps as I did for the index page This is TD. It's basically, data table NDT and display for movie dot rating save it and similarly for details put it in a new vertical tab group for 
for the sake of comparison and copying. Just copy it and paste it. Save the files. Next, I have to update the create.cshtml with this rating field. So, what I do is I'll just copy the code from my earlier copied notepad and put it just above the submit group here. Save it again. and add the rating field to the edit page as well. So, just copy the code, block of code and just paste it and just change instead of movie.price it will be movie.rating class remains the same here also it will be movie.rating again intelligence comes to the rescue control s to save it The app won't work until the DB is updated to include the new field. If run now, the app throws a SQL exception. So if we run now F5, it will come up with a SQL exception invalid column name rating. And this error, as you'll see soon, is caused by the updated movie model class being different. You know, an, an unhandled exception occurred while processing the request SQL exception invalid column name rating. So, what you do here, there are a few. This error is caused by the updated movie model class being different than the schema of the movie table of the database. There is no rating column in the database table, as we all know. Now there are a few approaches to resolving the error. The first one is the have the entity framework automatically drop and recreate the database using the new model class schema. This approach is convenient early in the development cycle. It allows you to quickly evolve the model and database schema together. The downside is that you lose existing data in the database. You don't want to use this approach on a production database. So dropping the database on a schema changes and using an initializer to automatically seed the database with this data is often a productive way to develop an app but in the initial stage and the second approach is explicitly modify the schema of the existing database so that it matches the model classes the advantage of this approach is that you keep your data you can make this change either manually or by creating a database change script or third one is use code first migration to update the database schema and we'll use the third approach the code faced migration so we'll update the seed data Uh, so that it provides a value for the new column. A sample change is shown below. Uh, now, so I'll have to add this rating as I'll add a rating field, and you can you have to put it in every new movie object. Here, say I can put it as. G so again G and then say again 
again R. Okay, so save this file. Now I'll build the solution again. So build succeeded. So from the tools menu, we'll select NuGet Package Manager and Package Manager Console Tools. NuGet Package Manager, Package Manager Console and I will on the Package Manager Console I will just add this command add migration rating and then update database once it updates now the database needs to be updated after putting the rating in the database schema. Now add migration command tells the framework to compare the movie model with the movie database schema. Create code to migrate the database schema to the new model. The name is the rating is arbitrary and is used to name the migration file. It is helpful to use a meaningful name for the migration file. Now if you delete the records in the database, the initializer will seed the database and include the rating field. You can do this with the delete links in the browser or through the SQL Server Object Explorer to delete the database from SQL Server Object Explorer. Select the database. So what we will do is we will uh, select the database. right click on the database select delete check close existing connections ok it's all done and then we'll update the database in the package manager console finally it's seems to have done now run we'll run the app Let's see. So the rating field is there already. Now, in case if the database isn't seeded, just stop the IIS Express and then run the app. And thanks for watching. That's it.